Some of you may not know this, but Tarpon Springs actually has a very special connection with the Bahamas. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser looked into the ties that date back more than a century. Our hearts go out to everybody there. It's just uh, amazing, uh, the devastation. And For many in Tarpon Springs, the images coming out of the Bahamas are personal. A generation of Greek sponge divers whose families eventually settled in Tarpon Springs came here from there. A lot of the Greeks that were in the Bahamas, you know, decided to come to Tarpon Springs as well and stayed. In the late 19th century, a man from Nassau named Joshua Boyer settled in what is now Tarpon Springs and recruited a lot of Greek divers to move here. Many brought their Bahamian families and businesses with them. In fact, Tarpon Springs' oldest cemetery still has grave sites adorned with conch shells, a symbol of their cultural link to the islands. But there is that partnership that goes way, way back to the 1800s, and you know that's why I think you know the connection is just very important to what's happening there today. There's a lot of the Greek families here in town that still deal with the Bahamas. And Raymond Stancil, who owns a sponge operation on Tarpon's famous sponge docks, says the family that ties up right next to him still does business in Nassau and may have lost several boats. He expects a strong relief effort to come out of Tarpon Springs. I'm sure there probably will be. There's a, a good number of, of Greeks that immigrated over there that are Bahamian citizens. There is still a Greek community in the Bahamas as well as here and uh, I'm sure that as soon as this passes and we have some more information there will be a lot of um, outpouring of love and support from the Tarpon Springs area. In Tarpon Springs city leaders usually meet on Wednesdays to talk about the business at hand. Wood says this week they will undoubtedly be talking about hurricane relief as well. Dorian's effects being felt right here in Tarpon Springs 400 miles away. Eric, that's a fascinating story in the history of the two cities. Now, people who live and work in Tarpon Springs expect to have some sort of relief plan in place by this weekend. And when they do, we'll be sure to pass that plan along to you at WTSP.com.